Hey, I'm Kendall and I'm with BlackOvis.com. I'm talking today about lightweight Sitka pants. And this is a comparison video talking about the Ascent, the Traverse, and the Apex. So I'm gonna dive into the features, why you would choose one over the other if you're in that market for an early season or an early slash entry into mid-season bow hunting, other hunting pant. Uh, let's, let's dive into some of these features. I've used extensively the Ascent pant. This is a newer iteration. If you own the original, this is very, very different. If you own the original Ascent pant, the Traverse pant might be your jam. The Apex pant, which was introduced last year, 2019, um, is in a league of its own, and I'm gonna tell you why. First off, price-wise, you're looking at the least expensive, 149, 189 for the Ascent pant, 229 for the Apex. So there's your price range. As far as the patterns they are offered in, the Apex pant is offered just in the subalpine camo. Uh, the Traverse is offered just in the open country and subalpine camo. And then the Ascent pant over here is, is in the pyrite, which we have here, and then also available in both of the Optifade camo patterns. So a little bit more versatility. Uh, I do use the pyrite pant and I've got this one and I use it for hiking. I wear it actually here to the office. I wear it out and about. Love the fact that it comes in a solid. I wish they would make this pant in a solid. I would certainly wear it almost all the time. As far as uh, some of the features, you've got four pockets on the Ascent pant. You got five pockets, two hand pockets, two cargo pockets, and actually a rear zipper pocket on the Traverse. And on the Apex, same as the Ascent, four pockets, two hands, two cargo pockets. The cargo pockets on the, Ascent, on the Apex pan are interesting because there's kind of a mesh pocket built within the pocket. Um, and if you wanna find out more details on that, check our video on the Apex pan and you'll see how that breaks down and why I think that's a really cool feature. Knee pads, both the Apex and the uh, Ascent pant have the removable knee pads as a bow hunter, which is my primary focus absolutely love the knee pads and we also have another video on a pro tip for how to put that in and out both with the pan on or with the pan off the traverse pant does not have the knee, removable knee pads as far as shape and cut that's the other thing you'll see if you like a more i would say not traditional but yeah i guess more a traditional or a straight leg cut the traverse pant is really your jam and that's uh it's a comfortable comfortable pant the scent I think is a little more tapered in the leg than the Apex. The Ascent does have two articulation points in the knee, so at, uh, additional, uh, in, uh, additional articulation in the knee where the Traverse and the Apex have a single articulation point. So that's kind of a, a, an overview of kind of how the shape and the feel is. I feel like they all fit what would be a standard athletic or real tape measure. If you're like, hey, I'm, I'm a 34 in all my jeans, but I'm a 36. Pull out the tape measure. The tape measure doesn't lie. You're probably going to measure up a 35 or a 36. Uh, and so just go by your actual tape measure, not necessarily what your jeans show as far as your, your size. Fabric. So I would definitely, if I'm looking for the stretchiest fabric, I'd probably give that to, to, to the Traverse. The Traverse is a poly woven, 90% poly, 10% spandex pant. The Apex is a poly face with a micro grid fleece backer. Now this micro grid fleece is very, very spatial, which allows for extremely lightweight, still gets you in at a lightweight pant, and, but it adds the extra warmth. The, the Ascent pant is a, is a stretch nylon, so extremely stretchy still, but I would still probably give this, the, the winner, I think for a total stretch, four-way stretch is going to be the Traverse pant. As far as weight, the, the Ascent pant comes in at 12 ounces, whew, extremely light. You'll love it, it dries really well. If you're hunting more desert country, I would probably ignore these two pants and go straight to the Ascent pant. If you're in that mid-alpine, uh, maybe Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, I'd start looking more at Traverse and, and Apex, unless you're one of those guys that runs hot and you wanna run a really lightweight pant. But at 12 ounces, this is extremely light and the nylon is a very strong fabric. Uh, you get in here at 14.5 ounces and 14.65 ounces in the Traverse and the Apex. So that's your overall weight count. As far as softness, um, 
my my favorite pant is going to be the Apex. The Apex pant is extremely soft and very, very quiet for bow hunting. The the nylon is probably a little, maybe a little noisier. Um, I have noticed that all three of these pants soften up with more washing, especially the Apex pants. Um, as far as two-way zip on the fly, you've got two-way zip on the Apex and on the Traverse. The ounce shavers over here will uh, will not enjoy the fact that you don't have two-way zip, but maybe that's not a big issue for you. As far as knife carry, I'm an, I'm an EDC knife guy. The, the overall winner is Traverse Pant. It actually has a dedicated portion uh, pocket, a reinforced pocket here for carrying the knife. Um, as far as overall, as you're looking at this, this comparison and these different features I've listed, I would, just, I'm, I'm biased, I've used all these pants. Um, I would definitely go Apex for the best all around lightweight pant that Sitka carries that can take me from that August into probably early October with layering. But the, the, the one drawback would be that it's only available in subalpine. If you're an open country guy or you just don't like the green or you want the, ver the, the op option for a, for a solid, you might want to steer this way. But if I had to pick one pant, one pant in this lineup to win them all, it's got to be Apex. Hopefully this has been helpful as you are in the de decision-making process of which Sitka pants best suited for you. If you have further questions, give us a call. Any of our gear guides can help you answer and kind of hopefully narrow down the right Sitka pant for your early season hunting.